Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Trails of Cold Steel 2, Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we pretty much got the uh, final act underway. We killed some stuff, now we're returning to the Courageous after having healed up our EP and TP, or CP rather. Um, what do we have? Yep. We're gonna head to... Where do you want to go? Whatchamacallit. Not Ruhr, but uh... Trista, as soon as I can find it. Oh, move faster. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, we're gonna go to Trista, and apparently there's a secret request waiting there for us, but um, once we've gotten that taken care of, the rest of this is pretty much gonna be killing monsters and um, cryptids too. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't about to spend like 40 minutes trying to figure out what obscure area of the game the cryptids were in, so I went ahead and looked those up, but um, all of, the only thing now is just a matter of finding them, but or going to them and not forgetting where they're at, but we should be good. First things first, this guy, though. The battle in Heimdall is scheduled to begin soon, is it not? Hmm. I hope he doesn't wind up in the middle of it. Is something wrong, father? Oh, hello. I hate to put anything more onto your young shoulders, but you may be able to help. Would you lend me your aid? I don't mean to pressure you, of course. I imagine your mind is already occupied with more pressing matters. Yeah. Sure. We're free until noon, for obvious reasons. What do you need? Thank you so much. My request concerns a fellow clergyman. A traveling priest who visited us this morning, actually. <laughs> Probably not our traveling priest, but definitely a traveling priest. Priests travel? Oh, you didn't know, Reem? Yeah. Some of them. They're sent to places without churches to fulfill various religious duties there. I told you about the one in Nord who had come to teach the people of the settlement every month, remember? That's right. Ever since the war began, the church has been dispatching even more of them across Erebonia. It's our duty to support people in need, and traveling priests can do so in areas those like myself cannot. This priest, however, only made the briefest of stops here saying he wanted to learn more about the state of the country. He left? Already? That is rather worrisome. There's no telling what the fallout of the battle in Heimdall could lead to. The fact that he was an elderly gentleman only serves to compound my concern, too. Okay, so it's definitely not, then. If you could, would you mind checking to see whether or not he arrived safely at his destination? I think we can do that. Especially since the Courageous saves us so much time. I don't know if we'd be able to if we were taking the trains. We'll do whatever we can to see if he's okay or not. So, now that that's settled, where exactly did he go, Father? He said he was bound for the church in Keldic. Okay, not too difficult. He sounded very upset about what had happened there. I can only imagine he wanted to see the damage for himself. Understood. Okay, gang. Next stop, Keldic. Thank you for doing this for me. I very much appreciate it. Okay. Absentee father started. Hmm. It works. Return to Courageous. I'm, a, I'm guessing this is going to be one of those, uh... One of those... World hopping ones. Like, once we get to Keldic, it's going to tell us as soon as I can... Remember where Keldic's at. Uh, there it is. But yeah, we're gonna get to Keldic, and then they're gonna be like, yeah, he already went to Berea Hards or whatever. Uh, Keldic Chapel, there we go. Yeah. This place is, uh, still blasted out. Oh, not a good look. I'm wondering who this absentee father is, though. Hmm, yeah. This guy definitely doesn't look geriatric, so I was probably right. Excuse me, Father, but could I ask you a question? Has a traveling priest visited this church recently? He did indeed. Or, he did indeed. In fact, he even made it a point to visit everyone affected by the assault. The fact that a priest from the holy city of Arteria came all that way to visit was rather motivating for all of us. Uh, is this gonna turn out to be Scarlet in disguise or something? Oh, Scarlet, right! We're supposed to hit her up too. I see. Good to hear he arrived safely. I don't see him here, though. Well, he mentioned that he wanted to see more of the war's impact on the country firsthand. I imagine he's probably heading for his next destination by now. 
Really? Hmm, that's somewhat worrisome. I can't imagine the trains will be running as scheduled with the battle for Heimdall beginning at noon. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Did he tell you where he was going, Father? I'd like to go check up on him if I can. I believe his next destination was Bereahard Cathedral. Wow, called it? So after Bereahard, we're probably gonna go to Ruhr, maybe? That's only one stop away. Right, let's hurry and catch him. Or catch up to him, rather. Return to Courageous. And then while we're in Bereahard, um, if he's not, Yusuf should be in the party. Bereahard. Yep, go ahead and uh, hit up his dad. Where is it? Uh, Noble District. See how they're holding up. Hopefully, I don't know. Scarlet, she's a good fighter, but I don't think I want... Hmm, they are still parked there. That is definitely a bench and not a driveway. But you know what? Whatever. Conservation of detail, am I right? Yeah. But, uh, I just don't, I wouldn't want her to be, like, a guest party member or anything like that. Like, I'm glad we were able to make, uh, like, get her out of there before she died or whatever, but. This place looks so nice. I can't get over it. Annex, Eusis' room. Yeah. It's the Annex we're wanting to head up. Yeah. Yeah. See what she's up to. Oh. Nadia. Is she out cold? Back again, are you? You really are a meddlesome little boy. Wow, okay. Sorry for thinking there's anything wrong with looking out for the sick and injured. How are you feeling? I've heard you're still bedridden. Yeah, she looks like she's still bedridden. Oh, my condition's nothing to worry about. I'm a real toughie, for better or for worse. Maybe if I was a much frailer woman, then I would have been able to return to Adios instead of being left here. <laughs> Not likely. Regardless of your reasons for becoming one, you need to atone for what you did as a terrorist first. I'm just now realizing that Yusuf meant she was definitely not going to go see Adios. <laughs> she seems a lot more at peace now. I'm assuming that once you've, uh, like, once you've longed for death and had that denied for you, you come out of the other side a much more even-tempered person. What you've done can never be forgiven. Nothing in your past could excuse what you did as a terrorist. But I still want to know what made you hate the Chancellor so much you'd throw away your own life to take his. Would you be willing to tell us, Scarlet? I never had the chance to hear that part last time we spoke. I suppose. It's not like hiding it is going to do me any good at this point. Alright, Scarlet backstory. It's not that special a story. But if you want to know that badly. I told you about my family, didn't I? Back on the Pantagruel. We had a big farm in Midwestern Erebonia. It was a really peaceful place. We had plenty of land, too. My parents were adored by the workers on it. And I loved living there. Okay, so she was a farm girl. Hmm. Then all of a sudden, we were told there was going to be a railway built through it. It was supposedly part of a national project with the Chancellor's backing. The land was all requisitioned, and before any of us knew it, it was no longer ours to call home. All we had was a pile of mirror. So they got unceremonious, uh, unceremoniously booted from their home. We were meant to take that and go find somewhere else to live, apparently. I wasn't even in Erebonia when it happened. By the time I got back in the country, it was all over. She was probably in the Holy Land of Arteria. That farm was my father's life. We tried, but we couldn't find another place that could even begin to compare to the one we'd lost. And in the end, all we were left with was a pile of money we neither wanted nor had any use for. I've heard a lot of stories about how that seems to have been the Chancellor's way. Crow told me a similar story about his own past. He said that his grandfather passed away afterwards. Um... My father was the same. Dang, dude. Everybody's parents start dying when Blood and Iron gets involved. He fell into the depths of despair and tried to drown his sorrows with alcohol. And then he eventually died in an accident. 
And after that, we all just drifted apart. I don't know where the rest of my family is or if they're even alive anymore. I don't know what to say. She must have been, like, she must have chosen not to find out because it seems like she had plenty of connections to be able to find out if she really wanted to. Losing one's home is bad enough, but losing one's reason to live at the same time. I don't think anyone could blame you for despising him after an experience like that. I know just how Crow feels. Dang, we probably should have brought a what's-her-face, Milliam. Oh well, she'll get over it. I suppose that's why I feel that if anyone can do it, it's all of you. If anyone can make him turn back, it's you. Scarlet. She believes in the power of friendship, dude! Don't worry, we will. You have my word. He's our classmate, after all. Whether he likes it or not, he's one of us, and he can't leave us so easily. He needs to come back and take full responsibility for all the trouble he caused at the festival. We need to settle things with him for our own good, as well as his. It's my job to go out of my way for my students, so that's just what I'm going to do. Thank you for telling us your story. I hope you get better soon. <sighs> I've gotten myself caught by the world's biggest goody two-shoes, haven't I? <laughs> you don't even know the half of it, dude. Reen, he is the epitome of goody two-shoes. But he wouldn't be Reen without being in that, so hey. Huh. Well, that was cool. Lady Scarlet seems a little more cheerful now. If you find the time, I'd love it if you were to come to visit her again. <laughs> Go on. There's no point in hanging around here any longer. You have things you need to do. I don't, so I'll be right here. I want to see how things end up for all of you. And for Crow. Make sure you do. You'll have plenty of great news coming your way when we're done. <laughs> That's my boy. Alright. And, uh... Hmm. So with that, we can now go... Like, <laughs> the reason why we actually came here... I'm glad, I'm glad somebody said Holy Lands of Arteria, because otherwise I was, I had completely forgotten about that. But, uh, now we're good to go. Okay, cool. I was like, does he have? Ooh, oh. Hmm. Have I ever been in here before? I don't think I've ever actually come into Berea Heart Cathedral. No, I'm mistaken. I think you've got to come here to activate the, uh, the teary-eyed statue thing, or turn it in, or something. But I haven't been in here very often, that's for sure. This guy could be the guy. I don't see anyone here who'd fit the bill of a traveling priest, but let's ask just to be sure. Oh. Yeah, that hat doesn't look like it's very conducive to, uh, or it would take the elements very well. Excuse me. Did a traveling priest happen to stop by here recently? He certainly did. He wasted no time in asking for details about the Kreutzen province's current state, too. I'm relieved to hear that he arrived safely. Our worries were unfounded, then. Did you have some business with him, perchance? I'm not particularly fond of his kind. They have far too much leeway. Traveling or not, he is a priest. He is expected to uphold the order of the church and conduct himself as a man of the cloth. Wasn't expecting that. Sounds like there's no love lost between them. Traveling priests don't appear to behave all that differently from the regular ones, as far as I can tell. Do you know where he is, uh, he is now? He mentioned something about wanting to get a better grasp on the effects of this war. Not again! He left again? Hmm, I've never known a priest this reckless. I'm rather surprised at just how quickly he seems to be making his way around. Would you happen to know where his next destination was? He said he was heading to Legram. Okay, so Ruhr might be last then. Mike's like here, he wishes to visit the church there. Thank you for the information. The trains will be stopping soon, so we should hurry up and find him. Let's get going then, shall we? Alright. Call Courageous, return to Courageous. Hmm. All that's left... Where do you want to yeah, go? it's your... Um, Proving ground, there's nothing there, so he, after Legram, he could go to either Ruhr or Ymir, so. It'll probably be Ruhr and then Ymir last. Leave it to me! Hmm. 
interesting though. Very interesting. The way he's talking, it kind of sounds like this traveling priest has Kevin's temperament, but... Oh. And also, this is a fogless Legram. Very nice. Nothing for us to uh, fix or anybody for us to defeat at the moment anyways. Alright, so yeah, this is definitely not our guy. Well, isn't this a surprise? What can I do for you kids? Sorry to bother you, Father, but we have something urgent to ask you. They asked if a traveling priest had visited the church recently. A traveling priest? You mean that old dude who was just uh, here just a while ago? Uh, maybe? Man, he was built for an old guy, believe you me. Nice as pie, though. Would have loved to chat with him more if I had the time. Being a traveling priest must be pretty rough right now with everything going on, though. A ripped old guy? Van Dyke's the only person who comes to mind. You're telling me. Wait, uh, well, it's good to know he's still alright, at the very least. Not that any of this makes sense. Hmm? What do you mean? Traveling from Trista to Legram takes five hours, even without any breaks. That priest somehow managed to not only get here faster than that, but also make stops at Celtic and Bereahar. How? That's true. Under normal circumstances, he'd just be arriving here now, even if, uh, even if he'd boarded a train early this morning. Um, Father, do you happen to know where he is now? He said he had something to do over in Ruhr Cathedral, actually. Figure he's probably already on his way. Ruhr? It'd take more than half a day to get there even without military strife. That's ridiculous. Is the man even aware of the state the country is in? Ugh. I feel like an idiot for even suggesting this. But do you think he could have made it there already? It sounds insane, but I want to make sure. Let's get over to Ruhr and check. Uh, cool. Good luck with whatever's going on, I guess. I'm, like, my vote would be to head this traveling priest off and go straight to Ymir, but... Oh, we gotta make sure we do things the way they want us to. Where do you want to go? We want to go to Ruhr. And then the cathedral for this place is not up here. All right, guess that's not gonna work. Go ahead and rush up this bad boy. There it is, it's right over there. They're still standing right there? Hmm. All right. No traveling priest in three, two, one. Nope. Just another one of these guys. All right, lay it on us. Welcome to Ruhr Cathedral. We'll be starting mass soon. You're all more than welcome to attend, of course. Thank you, Father. Actually, there's something we need to ask you. They asked if a traveling priest had passed through the area. Ah, I think I know who you might be referring to. Indeed, a traveling priest did pass this way not too long ago. Impossible. That doesn't make any sense. There has to be some kind of trick to this. Besides, traveling priest or not, I doubt he needs to be on the move this much. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's Blue Blanc in disguise? Hmm. I wonder if... Anyway, presuming he's already left, you wouldn't happen to know where his next destination was, would you? He mentioned he was heading for the chapel in Ymir, so there was something he needed to look into. You just missed him, in fact. We did. Well, in that case, with Ymir being three hours away, there's no way you could get there ahead of us, right? Hmm. Still, we should at least try to find out. After all that's happened so far, I'm almost willing to believe he could. Alright, let's set a course for Ymir. Thank you for your help, Father. Maybe it could be somebody using the spirit paths, too, so... <laughs> Think nothing of it. May the goddess's light shine upon you. Or it might be Gaius' dad. I don't know. I've got like four running theories so far as to what we're specifically dealing with. And then choose a destination. Finally. No. Yeah. Because there aren't any, um... In Nord, there aren't any, like, chapels or anything like that. Actually, there might be one on the uh, military base there at Zender Gate. Hmm. Eh, probably not. 
Oh, I guess he's not here. Hmm. Is something the matter, Reen? You seem awfully flustered. I have something urgent I need to ask you. Has a traveling priest been here? A traveling priest? Ah, now it all makes sense. What does? <laughs> You've been chasing after this priest for quite a while, haven't you? Always puzzled why you couldn't catch up to him, right? And now here you are, convinced that you will be able to arrive before him. Oh dear, he arrived here before us, didn't he? That he did, I'm afraid. We were enjoying some tea together not that long ago. We were talking about all of you, in fact. It just so happens that traveling priest is an old friend of mine. Wow, okay, this is a left turn. He is? That's surprising. Whoever this priest is, he doesn't sound like your average clergyman. Although Father Bernard always did strike me as someone well connected, so if anyone might know him. Regardless, he left a letter in my care. It's addressed to all of you, too. Here you are. Thank you. Hmm. Greetings, students of Class 7. You have my apologies for not taking the time to speak to you after you've come all this way in pursuit of me. I did very much enjoy our little game, however. Blue Blog. While it may not have, uh, while it may not have been able to catch up in the end, that Courageous of yours is quite an impressive ship. I hope you'll make good use of it in the future. I also hear that you are working to improve the lives of this country's people and better the current situation. An, ar uh, an honorable goal, if I may say so. This is an old nation, but change is always possible. With youngsters like all of you striving to improve it, it may have a bright future indeed. Regardless, I will now be departing for Western Erebonia. These are dangerous times, and I have duties as a clergyman to fulfill. And fulfill them I shall. Who is this? It's definitely not Blue Blanc. Good luck to all of you in the future, wherever your travels may lead you. Barkhorn the Traveling Priest. Alright. So, all of my theories are wrong, because I have no idea who that is. P.S. I was pleased to hear that you're still well, Gaius. May we meet again one day under the beautiful skies of North. Oh! Okay, so we've heard of this guy, we just didn't know who it was specifically. P.P.S. While it was not my concern, I seem to have caused a lot of concern to poor Father Paulo. Please do pass on to him that I'm alive and well. I also seem to have wasted quite a lot of your time by making you pursue me from place to place. It's not much, but please accept the attacks as an apology. A quartz is inside the envelope along with the letter. A college gem. I remember this from the first game. The, just the name. I don't remember specifically what it did. He knew what we were doing the whole time. I'd say this proves he's no ordinary priest, wouldn't you? Hmm. I do remember hearing of one particularly strong old man among the traveling priests of the Septian Church. I wonder if he goes by the name Roaring Lion. I can't believe he's an acquaintance of yours, Gaius. So it seems. I have to admit, I did wonder if it might be him. He was my teacher before I came to the academy. Yeah, he would come visit the settlement once a month, no matter where it was, and hold Sunday school for everyone there. I doubt I would have been able to attend Thor's if not for him. Really? Really? And thinking back on it, he never struck me as an ordinary man even then. Knowing that this is him, everything begins to make sense. Honestly, kind of looking at the back of him, He's either wearing a military dress, or he's decked out like somebody from the east of Calvert, from where Zine was from. Maybe. He really must be pretty amazing. Still, he managed to outrun us every single time. Was he using a high-speed airship or something? Me thinks this guy was in good with the winds, and that's what got him all over Erebonia so quickly. Why would a traveling priest have access to something like that, though? Do they use them in parts of the Septian Church? Oh! He may have been using, um... Uh, you guys know what they are. Um, the things that the Septian Church confiscates whose names escape me now. Like the Gospels. Come to think of it... I doubt you'd know, but the Church is a fairly complex organization with plenty of divisions within it. The part I was invited to join was an organization called the Congregation for the Sacraments. And they're a group full of immensely skilled people who take on some unique missions, to put it mildly. Huh. No, it can't be. Regardless, trust me when I say you needn't worry about him. And if you would, please pass on the news of his well-being to Father Paulo and Trista too. <laughs> we will. 
Alright, so we now we circle back to Father Paulo and tell him everything went well. Or Paolo? Yeah, I think Paolo is, is more correct. The mystery now solved, they all return to Tristan in order to pass on the message to Father Paolo. I see. I suppose my worries were all for naught in the end. Well, that's a relief, I feel terrible about the lengthy chore I've given you. It really wasn't that bad. It was kind of a learning experience. I never knew there were traveling priests who operated on this guy's level until now. The church must be really worried about this war if they're sending men like him to Erebonia. I should say so, though I can't pretend to have knowledge about matters higher up in the church. Perhaps they concluded that Erebonia getting any more chaotic could destabilize the whole of Western Zemiria. A risk like that is nothing to celebrate, but I must admit that I find the presence of men like him in this region encouraging. As a fellow man of the cloth, I have a new standard to measure up to, and I hope that the aid I can offer people is on par. <laughs> we wish you luck in that, Father. Thank you. Take care now. No matter how far away you may be, the thoughts and prayers of all of us who wish for peace will be with you. May the Goddess bring you safely back to us soon. I hope so, Father. Alright. Quest Absentee Father completed. Okay, so Barkhorn is the person who tutored, or, or who taught him. Turn to Courageous. Next thing's next. Where do you want to We've go? actually got to go... Where is it? There we go. Isengard oh, range. Because this is the one that pops out most in my head. Then we're going to save. And... Oh, check it out! Blue chests! I actually think um, we might still have one that we need to get in one of those shrines. Um, for right now, we're not going to worry about it. Laura and Fee, monster level 99. Laura may usually win against Fee in a swimming race, but it's no contest when they're racing on land. After all, Fee's always been fast on her feet. Haha! <laughs> um, we could switch them out right now, but I actually think we're going to first track down whatever monster is waiting for us. And then, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna come back for that. So, hold on. Um, we probably just need to actually, yeah. Or can we? We can. I've got this. Oh, it puts our sec our next party member in it. I actually really like that. That's what I was hoping for with the sidecar anyways. Or maybe it just puts the one, um, nah. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with, um, who's in there specifically. It does make our hitbox bigger though, so there's that little, uh, little, uh, weirdness. Ooh, nope. Not trying to fight any of those jokers. Now we swing around here. And then I'm assuming here is where our monster's gonna be at. Cryptid, yep. I didn't notice. That's probably been on the legend this whole time, and that's just my first time noticing it. Also, these monsters look a little bit different, but... Ooh. That thing looks like it means business. But then again, so do we, so hey. Alright. So, first thing, Fallen Lizard Wind Bomb. Okay. This one looks like a toughie. Perfect. No, you don't! Oh, nice! That looks like it tries to inflict some sort of, um, status ailment, this. but we're gonna try beating this thing how we usually do. First a Noble Now's Command, and then Reen is going to motivate. Crafts, motivate. All right. Let's do this. Very you well. this to me. All right. My turn. Oh, crap. Reen, we didn't, uh, take a look at it. Well, I doubt she's going to kill it um, outright, but we should be good. So this, yeah, it just did most of the job instead of all of it. Uh, but you know what? I don't really feel like letting this thing uh, heal itself and then up its um, abilities. So. Limb bomb. And then a northern limits, which is... Alright, Limbon level 120. A lizard cryptid, countless parasitic spores on its body spread toxic gases that ravage its surroundings. And, uh, yeah, it's got weaknesses, but 
We really need to pay attention to those. I'm kind of reminded that right as I was beginning this, somebody was like, uh, hard is too easy and to do this on Nightmare. And I mean, yeah, we've got something figured out right now that works really well for all the hard mode bosses. But getting to this point on Nightmare would have been torture. Yeah. Got him. I forgot that Reen got a new um, S craft. But hey, that works. From here, yeah. If this doesn't finish it off, then we're definitely going to have. Or actually, we're probably going to die. Um, everybody's speed is up, yeah, but. Okay, cool. Yusus was able to pull it off in the end. Jeez, dude, these cryptids. All right. What a waste of our time. Let's go. Let's see what our uh, spoils of victory is. Or spoil of victory, rather. Should just be the one gem. Defeated the cryptid Linbaum. Roaring dragon gem. Ooh. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead, call it apart here. Definitely pick things up next time. Keep on the monster killing. But that's all going to be then. So join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Bye for now, guys.